you know, the traditions with our voyaging canoes really begins on land. Because the canoes were created from the natural resources that our people had and still cared for, from the logs that created the hulls of the canoe to the materials to create the rope that made all of the lashing to hold the canoe together, to the plants that it took to create the sails for the canoes. All of those resources came from the land. So if you didn't understand the care of your resources on land, you would not have a voyaging canoe. So it's really in that sense of our tradition for us of the voyaging canoe that many people only see the voyaging canoe as an ocean related entity, which it does very much so, but it's very much so land related. So it's the marrying of those two traditions of remembering that for us in our traditions that there's no separation, that there is always a coming together of both things, both elements of land and sea that allow us to thrive and survive into, this, into the next generation that will continue. And the more that we can do that in that sense from the voyaging traditions, we start to understand and be responsible for what we do when we're home on land, as well as when we're on the open ocean on board the deck of our voyaging canoes. That it takes us to care for the things that we have aboard the deck of the voyaging canoe in order to sustain ourselves. And it allows us when we're at home here to continue those traditions.